Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna go ahead and do a financial read. This is basically what you can expect in your finances moving forward. If that's something that interests you, do stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. It was kind of hard for me to do my intro because I'm picking up like a lot of anxiety and suddenly I was getting flooded with a lot of thoughts like, um, have I made the right decision? Is this going to work out? You know, I really, you know, there's some, I'm getting the energy of people have a lot of medical bills or something that they need to pay, or there's something that they need to pay off. I'm getting that energy. Like there's a debt that's come in and it needs to be taken care of now. And maybe there's this energy of like, I don't have the funds or that's going to drain my savings or something here. I'm just getting a lot of anxiety around finances, like needing to kind of get past a hump or find some sense of stability for some of you there's an energy here of like wanting to find stability some of you might be okay with your finances but you're really just trying to get to the point where you don't have to it's not something in the back of your mind is really what i'm getting because i'm kind of getting that energy like finances are always in the back of your mind or you're always stressing about that some of you have you know you have kids you have kids that need things and need to go to college and they need you know, football lessons and they need new shoes and it's like, it never ends, okay? So there's something here where you can't really relax around your finances because it's a never ending circle or as soon as you get somewhere where you feel steady, all of a sudden something happens that puts you back into that uh, fight or flight mode, okay? I'm actually noticing the squirrels in my yard and they're like jumping from tree to tree. Some of you guys, especially with this, because this is like networking, this is being in a lot of different places at once, this is doing a lot of different things. Some of you guys could feel like you jump from one job to the next. You know, I do my first part of my day here and then I'm over here doing this and then I'm over here. Like some of you guys could have two, three jobs, two, three sources of income, um, trying to hustle, trying to like get as much money as you can in, okay? That is for some of you guys. I'm also hearing the golden goose, so I don't know. That could be anything for anybody. Take it as it resonates. But some of you guys might be trying to find like the golden goose, you know, that opportunity that's gonna come in that's gonna help you feel secure. I don't know, I'm just getting that energy, like wanting to feel secure. Some of you guys could be networking here coming up um, and that could really be helpful. Like there could be a collab or a partnership or working with somebody, working with a new company. There's something here about working with others and that helping you in some way, okay? So let's get you guys a yes or no. It doesn't have to be in regards to finances. It can be in regards to whatever you want answers on, okay? So let's see, what is the answer please for Gemini? <clears throat> As you guys know, I don't think of anything, this is for you. What is the answer here for Gemini please for their question that they have? What's the answer please? The answer for Gemini gang, we have let go, okay? Um, so there's this energy here of needing to surrender, needing to surrender to expectations, to outcomes. I'm getting that very strongly, like some of you guys, um, because what they're showing me is this butterfly being clenched in somebody's fist. And as soon as they let go, the butterfly can kind of float away. So there's this energy here, like maybe you're wanting something to take off, or maybe you're wanting to see some kind of results, or maybe you're wanting more people to notice something that could be for some of you guys. Uh, maybe you're wanting your boss to notice your work, you know, notice all the efforts that you're putting in in regards to something and maybe they're not um, or maybe you feel like more people should pay attention to something or you wish you had more offers or something. That's just what it feels like. It just kind of feels like you're wishing um, for something or you're holding on really tight to something and there's a need to kind of release the grip, all right? Um, I know that this is not necessarily has anything to do with the reading, but I kind of always incorporate it, okay? Let's get a power animal in regards to your financial situation, okay? Your upcoming financial situation. What is the power animal? Now you guys know a power animal is an animal that you can pull on its traits and its attributes to help you out in the situation. So what power animal can Gemini pull on in regards to their finances? We have the beaver that came out 
And we also have the camel. You guys, I never do this. I'm living on the edge, okay? I'm going to actually do a double power animal. I never do that, okay? Which means we're gonna have to keep the babbling in check, okay? Now with the, cause I don't know, they feel like they go together because with the camel, there is this energy of perseverance and there's also this energy of like an inner GPS and searching for something, being very much guided by your intuition. And some of you guys could travel for work or there could be a long journey here for your financial independence and security. Like you could really start from scratch. You could start from scratch several times, okay? I'm getting that energy for some of you guys. Like starting from scratch several times and feeling like, um, you know, you have to, you have to kind of make it happen each time. Some of you guys are really strong. Okay. There's a lot that you guys can handle. I'm getting the energy of carrying a heavy load here for some of you guys with the beaver that kind of echoes that energy here of carrying a very heavy load. The beaver though is always working on their foundation. They're always working on their stability. Even if there is this energy here of having to start over or start from scratch with the beaver because a storm comes in or, you know, humans come in and mess up the dam that they've built. They are happy to rebuild that and they are very good at at what they do they're very efficient so they can rebuild dams almost overnight okay so I do get this energy here of some of you guys feeling like you've been on a very long journey or maybe you've been feeling like you've had to like you know follow your intuition or your instincts here but I also feel like there could be a rebuilding of your finances that's going to happen and it might feel overnight for some of you it's not going to though I'm gonna be real right with the, the camel uh, it could feel like suddenly things are picking up really quickly but it was like a long journey to get here okay that's kind of what I'm getting. The starfish is a really positive card too for the bottom of the deck because for me this is talking about being really popular, getting a lot of recognition, a lot of people wanting to ooh and ah at whatever you're doing, whatever you're producing, however you work. Maybe you just have really good work ethic, Gemini. Um, you could be a nurse or a cashier or a bus driver or something like that and it's like people just are like wow they are a very hard worker, they're very good at what they do. So wherever you do, Gemini, you're very valuable, okay? There's a lot of people that want to see you or there's a lot of people that support you or they believe in you some of y'all could get employee of the month or something like that okay employee of the month employee of the year getting recognized at your job for whatever it is that you're doing because I feel like some of you guys are just really hard workers some of you guys might be the ones that they can depend on at work so if somebody calls out and they need somebody to come in they know that they can depend on you. You'll more than likely come in. If there's this energy here of, you know, then maybe we need to, you to stay, like you already worked your shift, but we need you to stay. They know they can depend on you. If you have to produce some kind of results or something, they know that you're gonna produce those results and in fact, you're probably going to excel, okay? So there's something here with that, guys, where you are very capable and people see you as that. So let's go ahead and do the camel first since that's the first one that came out. Let me find it. Okay, I'm in the right elements. Just have to find it now. Come on, guys. I have a feeling it's going to be towards the end. I just have that feeling. Oh, Lord. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this. There we go, the camel. It says resourceful, independent, and knows oneself. The camel can handle absolutely anything as it carries a wealth of nourishment within. This wondrous creature is self-reliant and handles challenges with ease. Even in the face of excess heat, judgment, or anger, the camel searches inside for the cool elixir of water to calm the, solution, the situation. The camel represents the ultimate form of bringing opposites into balance, fire and water, for example, and being responsible for one's own reactions. The camel is a wonderful traveler and especially fond of trips and faraway lands. When in balance, calm, content, and a sparkle in the eye. When out of balance, dehydrated and lacks vitality to bring into balance a pilgrimage, okay? So yeah, this is really talking about what we were saying. It's There's this energy here of you can really handle any challenge that comes your way, Gemini. And I feel like for some of you, there have been challenges in regards to your finances. Some of you guys have been through situations where maybe businesses have failed, bankruptcy, maybe there's been marriages and divorces and children and sicknesses and things like that where it's like your finances have taken a hit over the years you've been up and then you've been down some of you guys have been living in the hill on the or the top the house on the top of the hill and then some of you guys have also in 
parts of your life been homeless you know it's like really this energy of you've seen every angle of you know financial situations the up and the down but you can depend on yourself is what this is saying like you're very resilient you're very strong <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get the beaver energy which <laughs> you wouldn't think the beaver is a water but it actually is okay we have hard worker loyal tireless and family first the beaver personality is a welcome sight these good-natured and dependable creatures have an infinite love and enthusiasm for family. They express it by way of the earth element, providing a home and financial, excuse me, providing a home and financial stability. Although the beaver doesn't usually initiate a project, once started, they will work steadily for weeks, months, or even years to see it through. The beaver card appears when the task at hand requires your long-term steady effort. It can also signify that it's time for some karma, yoga, selfless service, okay? Like doing things for other people, being of charity to other people, because when you give back, you're going to receive that back, right? That's the push-pull of life. Uh, when in balance, happy, meaningful work. When out of balance, feels useless or worn out. To bring into balance, physical labor or selfless service here. I was like, it's talking about the earth element, but I could have swore that was the water sign. It is. It's a water symbol. So I feel like these cards really go well together and maybe that's why I felt like taking both of them, especially with this energy over here, because this is talking about being multifaceted. This is talking about different energies kind of coming into one to make a melting pot when it comes to your financial situation. Some of you guys could be considering getting a second job, a third job, or picking up a side gig or making your side gig your main gig. There's something here where it's like you're you're really putting your hands in a lot of different areas when it comes to your finances, okay? Uh, some of you you guys could come up upon a project here that is going to take a lot of your time and your energy but this card is saying to work steadily okay if it takes weeks if it takes months be committed to something okay that's the energy that I'm getting here and I feel like you guys are committed to the task at hand like I get that very strongly with your energy. I feel like you guys are very hard workers and have been hard workers for a long time. Some of you guys have had jobs since you were, uh, you know, just maybe 15, 16, maybe even before that. Some of you guys have been working for a long time and you might feel like, when am I gonna get a break? Like some of you guys might be retired and still working or still trying to figure out your financial situation even after retirement, okay? So there could just be this energy here of finances really playing a pivotal role in your life which I feel like yeah on earth that's how it is everything costs money even to breathe pretty much costs money you know so it's like finances kind of take over but there could be something here where you are meant to have a destined path all right now I was looking last night because I don't know I got curious and I started researching the difference between fate and destiny and fate is something that is preordained it's something that is it's going to happen and it, it's basically based off of your birth chart or something that was always meant to happen regardless of whatever choices you make it doesn't matter this will happen it's inevitable right destiny is something that is meant to happen based off of your choices so you have a little bit of a play here when it comes to your destiny all right um you can make different choices you can have different outcomes you can completely walk away from something that was destined to you because you've made different choices right and i am picking that up here i'm picking up like a destiny type of energy here where it's something where you've made certain choices where it's led to some kind of destiny and it feels like a really abundant um future or abundant foundation when it comes to finances i don't know the camel and the beaver they just talk about that so it's just a really good sign i feel like all right let's get some money messages please for gemini some money messages what do they need to know in regards to their money we have the candle coming out okay it says you will be shown the way trust flow where life takes you pay attention to the signs spirit guides and earth angels okay Maybe some of you guys are lighting candles for your finances or some of you guys could be doing rituals in regards to your finances. That's not for everybody. Take it as it resonates. Some of you guys could be doing some kind of manifesting ritual or you have like a, a vision board or some of you guys could be using Pinterest as a vision board. Okay, that's for somebody. Like what house you want to live in, what car you want to drive, what clothes you want to wear, the luxuries you want to have in your life or something like that. Okay, some of you guys could also doing mantras or like positive affirmations or something here. But I do feel like what Spirit is saying is that you are being led, 
okay? You're being led in regards to your financial situation. So some of this might not exactly make sense to you is kind of the energy I'm getting to. Finances, please, for Gemini. What can they expect in regards to their financial situation moving forward? <clears throat> what can Gemini expect when it comes to fi- oh. oh, shit. It went flying. Hold on. We have July. I'm going to keep that over there, okay? So July could be significant. I know that that's <laughs> quite a ways away, but for whatever reason, July came out, it could be significant. We have the handshake here. A meeting with a stranger could be important on the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys might meet a Leo or a Cancer um, that's going to be significant in regards to your financial situation. Some of you guys could, again, be collabing or working with other people. That card also says hot girl summer on it. And for me, that always makes me feel like there's something about you being very popular, okay? What do we have here for Gemini's financial situation moving forward, Spirit? What, oh, way too many guys. Gemini's financial situation. I don't know why I'm so nervous in this reading. I don't normally get like nervous, but for some reason I am. Okay, so maybe some of you guys are really nervous about your finances or there's something big that weighs in the balance or maybe you have this big business deal or this big collab or partnership or something here where it's like you're really trying to kind of see through something, see through the fog of a situation or you're just worried about how something is going to turn out. That's kind of what I'm getting. It's way too many guys. Okay, can we get some... some messages out here for Gemini in regards to their financial situation. We also have June. Okay. So Gemini, Cancerian energy, double Cancer. So Cancers could definitely be significant. Maybe you cusp with Cancer, Gemini, or you have it strong in your chart. Obviously, Gemini energy, but we have diamond vibes that came out. So there could be something here where maybe June, July is going to be significant for your finances. There could be an opera. I know that's a while away, guys, but I can't control the cards, right? There could be an opportunity that's coming around June or July, or this is just significant for a June Gemini, okay, is what I'm getting. Should we use this deck, Spirit? Because I'm kind of like, you know, at this point, we have vacation energy, the harp, or the hammock, excuse me, and we have the harp, okay. So taking a vacation physically or mentally, feeling burnt out, long distance travel, we see that with the camel, flowing energy, harmony, music to your ears, and a great happiness. That's interesting that we have some double messages here because the camel's talking about traveling and then the harp and the candle are both talking about flowing energy. I'm going to keep these together. This could be just spirit saying that you can relax when it comes to your finances. Things are going to go way better than what you're expecting because I'm getting a lot of anxiety. Like it's making me, it's making it difficult to even shuffle these cards. I have like so much anxiety right now. <clears throat> we have the hat coming out. It says you'll be playing a different role, North Node vibes, and then, okay, role playing in bed. I don't see, unless you have an OnlyFans gym and I don't see how that's going to help you with your finances. Okay, but you never know. Um, let's get another one. Okay. Now the cards want to come flying out easily. We have the money path here. Let's get one more, I think, and then we'll just look over all this together. One more. What is this? It just came out. We have the ants. Okay. Perfect. And the wishbone on the bottom of the deck. Put that over there. Okay, Gemini. So I feel like there's a need to just breathe. Okay, breathe, breathe in, breathe out, all right? Because I do feel like there's a lot of anxiety. Some of you, this doesn't have to mean that you're worried necessarily about finances, but it could be something here where you have something big coming up, okay? Some of you guys need to present something or you've been asked to create something or do something or there could be a big partnership here in the future where you're gonna be like, oh my God, I don't know if I can handle this. Or maybe you've taken a risk recently where now everything's on your shoulders and you're like, oh my gosh, have I made the right decision, okay? I feel like there's this energy here of spirit wanting you know that you're being led in regards to your finances now some of you you definitely might have to play a different role 
okay? You could be asked to step into a leadership position. You could be asked to relocate and do something else. Some of you guys might take on more responsibility or something at work. There's definitely this energy here of stepping outside of the box of norm, right? For what you normally do or what you normally expect when it comes to work, your career, something like that. But there's this energy here in the middle that <clears throat> is very interesting to me, guys, because it's really saying that there's no need to stress, even though, you know, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm very realistic. I'm a realist. And I know that, you know, we have bills and we have kids and everything that I've already talked about. So I do feel like there's this energy here of like, pay attention to things, but don't necessarily stress. You are being taken care of. The money path coming out tells us that there is a path with money that is waiting for you to find. It says, follow the yellow brick road. Opportunity is heading towards you and you may find money like, you know, on the ground or somewhere. That's a gift. And that's also a good omen too. Like if you guys are finding coins, in places, okay, that you didn't realize. Some of you guys might go to the laundromat to do your uh, clothes and you might find like, I don't know, like a crumpled up $10 bill or 20 or something in the washer. It's a sign that money is going to easily flow to you. We also have the ant, which is another great card. Work, achievement, and success. Feeling like a worker ant, building wealth, and for the good of all. Some of you guys really do feel like a worker ant, possibly within your family. Like if you're the head of the household and you need to pay all the bills. Again, make sure little Timmy can go to football practice. Make sure little Maria can go to college, right? Or the kids got prom coming up or they have this, they have that. Like there's different responsibilities, okay? Kids gotta eat, you gotta eat, everybody gotta eat, okay? Food ain't cheap, all right? So <laughs> there's this energy here of like, maybe feeling like you have to keep working, working, working or building wealth for the good of your family okay to make sure that everybody around you is okay and maybe you would like some of that pressure to be taken off your shoulders for my single parents okay some of you would love a partner you'd love somebody to help you come in here and pay these bills with you we can do 50 50 right shit we could even do 60 40 i don't give a damn i just need some help like that could be how some of you guys feel like you know i just need somebody to come in here and help me a little bit some of you guys might have somebody coming in that's going to help you this person could be born in june or july take it as it resonates okay i do feel like there is a wish though that's coming true for you guys make a wish you will get what you want it says blessed and a wish is granted okay so it does feel really positive for your finances it just feels like there's this energy here where you have a lot of anxiety and you're just really not sure and that could be because maybe the path even though it is leading to some kind of financial reward here there's a lot of fears here there could be the ego with that devil energy that's screaming at you that's telling you you know you're not gonna make it you've made a mistake this isn't gonna work you're gonna be broke forever you know as soon as you get ahead you're gonna fall behind right there could be some kind of feeling like that and some of you guys are just you know needing to kind of shut that voice up right? And listen to the voice that it feels like it's a little bit quieter because it feels like your ego is really loud, right? And abrasive almost and just really screaming at you. Like I was damn near shaking when I got into y'all's energy for this financial situation. So that's either, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be bad, but it just was giving me so much anxiety that I was just like, oh my gosh. But it could be that maybe you're really excited. Maybe something comes in that you're like, damn, this brings me happiness. I'm not gonna have to work as hard. Um, I can kind of do things at my own pace because that's what I get with the hammock. I don't necessarily feel like y'all will be taking a vacation from work, although some of you could. But we do have the ant card out here and we have the camel and the beaver, which both would make me kind of believe that you're gonna be working pretty hard, right? But there could be something here where you work at your own pace, you work at your own leisure here, okay? So I don't know, that's what I'm getting, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. I don't normally pull cards for the cards that are on the side. Sorry guys, I got ash in my nails. So I'm like, what is that? Um, but I wanna pull cards for this June, July energy. What is this here for? <clears throat> for Gemini's financial situation. What is this June and July here for? We have the nine of pinnacles and the eight of wands that wanted to come out, okay? So something is definitely gonna be picking up around June or July. Now I get it, it's like, we gotta get through the whole fall and winter season before we even get to June and July. But think of how fast it's, time has flown by. I mean, really. It was literally just, I feel like it was literally just my birthday in May. And then now here we are damn near halfway through October. Like it's just time, it just flies, okay? It really does. So 
don't focus on the time. Don't focus on the expectations. Kind of just focus on what you're doing each day, putting one foot in front of the next each day, working on what you need to, to get ahead. Okay. June and July going to be here before you know it. Okay. This could also be saying by June or July, there's going to be this financial security here because the nine of Pentacles is a great card that is talking about feeling very independent, feeling very secure. This is also something that you do that's very unique to you, Gemini. Okay. With the nine of Pentacles, you could be an entrepreneur or you could have some kind of skill or talent that you're going to start making money off of. Things could start picking up. Okay. Um, where again, see how she's sitting down. She's not really struggling, but there's all this abundance that is around her that's kind of what I'm picking up right here with the harp and the hammock it's almost like you have abundance that's going to be swirling around you or you've created something that is so stable it kind of makes money on its own yes you do still have to put in some effort with the eight of wands because this is talking about action it's talking about movement it's talking about communication also coming in too from a distance okay so for some of you guys i feel very strongly there's somebody coming in that's either going to help you pull weight in a situation or they they're you're going to work with this person and things are going to go really well there's something like that i feel very strongly there's a partner coming in um that's i don't know it could be a collab i just feel that very strongly queen of pinnacles here queen of pinnacles plus the nine of pinnacles that's ten pinnacles so yeah okay and some of you guys this is going to come after this period of feeling very frustrated or maybe even feeling like you're missing opportunities or you're not sure what to focus on but with this for finances what i'm really getting is like i don't know how to make this work you know he's got his hand on his um forehead he's staring like just very intently at this, like trying to figure something out, trying to get the answer here, trying to see what is wrong with this. Why isn't this working the way that I feel like it should? Have I, you know, are the cups ugly? Do people not like cups anymore? You know, like it's giving that kind of energy where this person is just really trying to figure it out. Okay. And I feel like that's the time that you're coming out of and moving into the future. You're going to find this abundance here. Now let's go ahead and get into this, the candle. Gemini, you're being shown the way. We have the lovers. So the Gemini energy coming straight out, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles, and this is a discovery, right? So some of you guys, you are listening to your heart here. You're following your, your heart when it comes to your financial situation, okay? Um, you're following your instincts. And I get also too, since we are Geminis with this card, it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, being on the same page with yourself, you know, so you can make those decisive decisions here because when you're battling yourself, you're going back and forth. It's like, I don't know what direction I'm going. So yeah, I do feel like there could be something here again where you're either following your heart or you're on the same page with yourself. So you're moving forward and you found this sense of balance here. But with the Ace of Pentacles, that is a discovery. So you are being led towards some kind of financial discovery here. So your spirit guides, your ancestors, those that guide you from the other side are really speaking to you. I get this energy here that you've been searching for something you know and you're gonna find it here that's what i'm getting also if you have any passed on loved ones okay these people could be could have been gemini's okay or cancerian energy because we have that out here um any fire signs any water signs um i just feel like those those individuals are guiding you from the other side too okay <clears throat> and i'm hearing i'm so proud of you so I feel like you have a lot of people that are really proud of you. Yeah, especially like a Cancerian energy here with the chariot. But with the chariot energy, shit about to take off for sure. Yeah, something's coming in from a distance for sure with that three of wands here. Like you're manifesting something. So what is this heart hammock energy? <clears throat> what is this talking about for Gemini, please, with their finances and what they can expect moving forward in their finances? And you know, I didn't pick up on it. I'm sorry, I want to go back. Um, the lovers, because we're doing a financial reading, so the love cards, I'm not really picking up as love for obvious reasons, but I do feel like there's a partner coming in for somebody. I do. Okay. 
Um, I feel like there's a partner, you know, and you guys are gonna face this together and you're gonna do really well. Okay, what is this harp in this hammock that's coming in for Gemini in regards to their finances here? What is this talking about? Okay, we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, this is working at your own leisure, right? This is, you know, the seven of pentacles can be such a frustrating energy, especially for me, somebody who likes fast results, likes things to go, you know, at a decent pace. You know, I like things to be consistent in my life um, across the board and whatever I'm dealing with, I like consistency. So there could be something here where it's like the seven of pentacles is an incredibly, <sighs> difficult time because we're past the energy of really trying to build something but we haven't seen the results that we really want to see either you know so we're in that in between it's like when you've planted something and it's already kind of grown a little bit and it's starting to get established but it's not like a full established plan okay so you're here in the middle where you know you kind of just have to let it grow you know you kind of just have to let something grow, Gemini. That is, and that could be incredibly hard for you because you could want to push. You know, you could want to push something along, but there is an energy of putting in that consistent effort. That's important for whatever this is financially talking about for you. It's going to be different for everybody. But there is something here where it's like you're putting in that consistent effort, but you're letting it grow because it is going to grow. You've seen some kind of progress or results here. You've learned something here. Um, you're tending to something. Some of you guys really are working on your own thing, okay? Your own business, or maybe something is like, it's your project, it's your baby, or maybe you're a supervisor or a manager or something, and it's like, I'm kind of in charge of all this. Maybe you've been called in to kind of make a difference in a certain area, like maybe they're like, you know, this is the cleanup crew. We bring Gemini in here. They change everything. They turn everything around. They make things better. There could be something here where you've taken ownership of something, but you just kind of have to keep putting in that consistent effort and and watching it grow and letting it grow, which can be incredibly frustrating because this is my patience card. It's like you have to be patient when it comes to something. But we do see growth here with Seven of Pentacles. I like that, okay? Page of Cups, don't be afraid to be creative. Don't be afraid to use your imagination. Don't be afraid to step outside of the box. We see that anyways with the hat energy. There is a need to kind of, you know, take a different role here. Maybe that's that energy, what we see over here with the let go card. Maybe there's this, you've always kind of clinched on, you've always kind of like, you know, put a lot of like laser point focus onto something and there's a need to kind of just let go. You know, let something work for you, not against you, okay? But I do see growth here. Some of you guys might make enough money where you can go on a vacation, you can plan a trip here, you can just um, put some money in savings is the energy I'm getting. Some of you guys might make some money on a vacation. I don't know how you would do that, okay? But there could be an opportunity that comes through while you're on a vacation or you meet somebody while you're on vacation and you're like, they're like, hey, I do this for a living. You're like, wow, well, I do this. And then you guys are like, well, let's talk. Let's exchange business cards or something here, okay? I feel like whatever this is talking about though, whatever you are growing, whatever you're building, whatever you're needing to kind of just let develop, it's something that you feel very passionate about and something that you are tied to emotionally. Like, you know, like Gemini's are my fucking survivors. I don't care what anybody says, right? <laughs> That's why we got this camel energy out here. I'm a survivor, right? Like there's that energy of, you know, you're gonna make it happen even if you gotta go, my favorite thing to say is go bag groceries at the Piggly Wiggly, right? There's worse places to work, shit, you know? <laughs> but if you have to, you will go do that. But I feel like you do have a lot of emotion and passion tied into something. Like, I would love for this to work for me because this is what I feel like my heart wants me to do. Like, this is what I feel drawn to. For some of you, yeah, you know, you're about to be in that boss energy with that emperor. Aries energy could be significant. Some of you guys could literally be a CEO one day or moved into a, a pretty big position. It feels like something legit. Like this isn't, for those of you that work for a company and you're up for a promotion, this feels like this is only leading to the next step. Like they're looking at you for leadership. They have your whole career path already plotted out for you. So, you know, it's kind of giving that kind of energy. Like we were going to move G uh, Gemini into, you know, this maybe like okay like let's just say like team lead right then district then gm then vp of this right then senior vp of that 
And then we're going to have you, like, they already have, like, a path for you ahead. Or this could be your ancestors, your guides that have a path for you ahead. Because I'm telling you, for some of you with all this goodness out here, it's like some of you really do have, like, ancestral blessings coming in or past life blessings, some kind of karma. Um, Page of Cups coming out with the chariot. Some kind of karma that you developed in a past life, okay? I don't know. That's for some of you guys. Yeah, some of you need to, you know, it feels like not be so rigid when it comes to your decisions as well. And be flexible, like be open to movement, be open to change, be open to travel. Because that is coming out big time here with the travel energy. I mean, I see that with the eight of wands. I see that with the hammock energy. I see that with the money path. I, I, I see with the camel, like I see a lot of traveling. So for some of you, there could be something here where you might be moved around to various different areas. Or maybe the the place that you're meant to be or the space that you're meant to make money in, maybe it's not where you're at right now. There could be an opportunity like on the other side of your country or on the other side of your state or whatever. Um, you know, take it as resonates for you where you live, okay? There could be something in a different area that is going to kind of present itself and you might be like sail away right like bye okay with that world energy yeah there could be making money overseas or there could be income coming in from a lot of different areas a lot of different places but i do see success with the world card okay all right guys let's go ahead and see what this this hat is you'll be playing a different role what's this talking about for gemini gang please in regards to their finances what's this hat the deck was really sticky for a second, <clears throat> which usually for me, stickiness in the deck is like a stuck energy, like a stagnated energy, right? So there could be something here where maybe, again, you need to kind of think outside the box. You need to not be so set on this is the direction, this is the thing, this is the way, you know? Because some of you guys, you are very organized, right? You're very organized, you're researched, you're, you have an idea of what you wanna do. Like you have been manifesting something. And to manifest something, it takes some kind of conscious effort, right? So you've definitely been doing that. But with the Queen of Pentacles here, yeah, this is like a, a Oh, no, guys. There could be somebody out here who's all you're used to being is like a worker bee. Like, I've never been in a management position before, Jess. I don't know how I would be able to even handle that. Or, you know, being a business owner wasn't something that I thought was ever going to happen. Or, um, you know, maybe a business partner, right? Or maybe an investor or somebody wants to invest in you, right? And you're like, I'm not used to people wanting to invest in me. Or I'm not used to finding projects that I feel compelled to invest in. There could be something here like that. But either way, with the Queen of Pentacles, this is a leader. This is a boss energy. This is somebody that is seated on their throne. And I don't know if you noticed that, guys. Right? And we see that out here. So there's just this energy here of like, you're gonna be feeling really comfortable, Gemini. That could be a different role you play in too. Maybe you ain't used to being comfortable, especially considering all that damn anxiety I was feeling. I'm not feeling it anymore, thank you, baby Jesus. Because anxiety, I already have enough. <laughs> I have enough for everybody in this collective. I don't need y'all too, trust me. Um, but I do feel like there could be this energy here of like maybe you're not used to kind of feeling comfortable or things kind of settling in, you know? There could also be a queen of pentacles. It doesn't have to be an earth sign. It could be any of the signs we've seen, okay? Um, but there could also be a queen of pentacles that's gonna be entering your life and maybe you're not used to, again, this kind of support or something. That's just what I'm getting for some of you guys. Knight of pentacles, the five of cups with the world. Yeah, this is a, the, an end to like a sad period or a period of feeling like lack or that you've missed out again on some kind of opportunity. There's been a lot of burden that you've been carrying. You're about to be able to end that burden with that 10 of uh, wands here um, because of whatever this is that's coming in. And for some of you guys, you don't see it. Her head's down. She's kind of just sad. Maybe you're sad emotionally. Maybe you went through a breakup recently or you lost somebody or there's there's other shit going on besides just your finances, right? So maybe it's like, well, shit, you know, that, that I guess is going to be bad too. I don't know. Some of you guys are just depressed or you're just not happy at this moment here with the five of cups for whatever reason. Um, and then her back is turned, you know, she's just saying like, say la vie to whatever, like letting some shit go. I don't know. And then it's like this 
person's like, uh, knock, 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 hello. I don't know, there's something here with that. Maybe some communication comes in, an email, um, a DM, a text, a call, a motherfucking uh, pigeon, <laughs> okay, a pigeon parcel. I don't know, like there's something here where some kind of communication comes in. <clears throat> so I want to get one more, even though we've been just getting one card. I want to get one more for this hat for Gemini with this different role they're going to be playing. We have the hermit. Yeah, some of you guys are really used to kind of playing it safe or you're really used to kind of being in the background, you know, maybe not being right up in front and center. Virgo energy heavily here with this Queen of Pentacles and this Hermit, okay? Yeah, some of you guys are used to just kind of feeling things or dreaming about things, right? Really being in that energy of manifesting but not see, actually realizing it, like not actually seeing it in the physical. That's the change that's coming in here. What you've been dreaming about with this Queen of Cups, you're out. You're actually about to see in the physical with this Queen of Pentacles. And this is all from your hard work, Gemini. None of this shit's going to get handed to you. I don't think that you were ever expecting it to get handed to you or anything like that, but it's not. You know, you are working really hard. You've developed something. You've rebuilt yourself several times, you know? All right, this money path. What's this talking about for Gemini? Uh, look, it's our channel sponsor right here. Always watching from all distance. Okay, there could be somebody that is going to, they see what you're doing or something. Maybe somebody sees that you're struggling a little bit and you need some kind of help. I'm not going to keep it because it was a big chunk that came out. But there could be something where somebody's maybe watching you from a distance and they want to come in and offer some kind of support or they may be like, I don't know why I'm getting the energy of like, call me crazy. Yeah, somebody's watching you like, going through it Gemini damn yeah somebody's watching you go through it somebody's watching you fight the good fight here I don't know why I'm getting that energy like somebody coming in and be like call me crazy but I think we would work well together or call me crazy but I think I could help you out or call me crazy but I think that it would be great if you moved in I don't know that is not for everybody okay give me something for this money path though what is this talking about for Gemini please we have what is this the two of wands okay so that's talking about expansion and that's talking about growth but some of you guys there's a lot of fear because i'm starting to get that anxious feeling again with the money path like there's a lot of fear like some of you guys might feel like yeah i i do have to kind of find this money path it's out there somewhere some of you guys feel like you're being led to it though give me something else for this money path here There's that energy of destiny coming into play again, guys, okay? Because it's really giving me that feeling here of like the choices that you make are directly going to impact and affect your money path with this two of uh, wands here. Give me something else for this, for Gemini's money path. I also feel like this money path has not been easy again with the camel because that's talking about being really um, resilient, right? Uh, so I just feel like there's been a lot of ups and downs on this money path. This money path talking about, we have the king of swords coming out. Yeah, I just kind of feel like it's connected to that, Gemini, where there's been this sense of being a little rigid when it comes to something. But there's also um, needing to look at the details of something. <clears throat> like needing to see something really clearly or needing to kind of settle in on what your truth is in regards to your money, what you want to make money in regards to. King of Swords could also be an authoritative figure reaching out to you because that's like, what I'm, like my supervisor card. Some of you guys could work in the government or maybe you're going to be a police officer or maybe there's like military involved somehow with the King of Swords, okay? Some of you guys might be joining the military, traveling to like far off lands or something like that. Or some of you guys are trying to like land on a decision in regards to expansion somewhere with your money path. Like I do feel like you know that this is serious here with this Nine of Wands because there's an energy of burnt out with the Nine of Wands. 
there's energy of fear too, like I was picking up. I feel like there's some kind of fear surrounding whatever choice you have to make. You wanna make the correct choice. So some of you guys have been researching the fuck out of something. That could be what this is too with the hermit because that's like a little, that's, you know, the major spy card for me. So researching, intel, looking in. Some of you guys could be doing intel, okay? Or technology or computer work or something like that or learning a new trade here is what I'm getting for some of you guys, going to trade school. Some of you guys could be electricians or something. Or maybe this is something, this could also be something that you've picked, you've done in the past, but you're gonna pick back up as maybe like a little side job. Like maybe you were an electrician or something in the past, or you worked on computers or something like that. And then there's gonna be an opportunity to kind of round back and do that again, but in a different way. Some of you guys could be accountants or you work with numbers. Maybe some of you guys work at a bank, okay? You need one more for this money path? I think this is literally talking about the path, you know? Because I feel like the destination is pretty fucking obvious by now. I feel like this is really talking about the path. There's gonna be ups and downs. There's gonna be pivotal, important choices that you need to make. And you need to make sure that you're clear. You know, what's your inner truth when it comes to these choices that you need to make, Gemini? moving forward okay make sure if there's any contracts that come in too you're reading these contracts really thoroughly here because it's almost like i always get with this card like him pointing his sword at something like did you pay attention to what it said right here yeah because there could definitely be contracts with a six of pentacles or working with somebody yes some of you guys are going to have a lot of options when it comes to something something might look like wish fulfillment again something from your past with the six of cups that you've worked on before some of you could also make money with the soulmate but we pick up on that all the time something else here and i'm just like she that not for me that message ain't for me because shit they are like i'm like nowhere to be seen Okay, so yeah, I feel like I'm going to be making money on my own, which I'm fine with. But that's, you know, I don't know. We pick up on that message a lot, though, guys. So there could be something here with that. Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this is talking about the actual path. You know, the path to money for you is going to be a lot of hard work. The path to money for you is going to feel like there's resistance at times. You know, you're up and then you're down. You're here and then you're there, you know. And the path for you, there is a sense of destiny here or fate, one or the other, maybe a little bit of both. Like maybe some things have been preordained, but then at the same time, there's a sense of destiny where your choices are going to impact this. So make sure that you're making clear choices. Make sure you're not making choices based off of fear, Gemini, because there's no reason with what we've seen for you to really be afraid. In fact, your, your guides and your ancestors uh, spirit itself wants you to let something take its time to grow let it grow because it is growing so there's something here with that guys yeah look at this we keep seeing this knight of pentacles there is an opportunity here that's going to be presented or you're putting your all into something that is going to develop take it as it resonates let's get something from this ants okay this ant energy there's been like 15 four-wheelers that have driven by <laughs> since I've been doing this reading. Like, I swear, man, everybody's out on their four-wheelers today. <clears throat> okay. I don't know what that had to do with anything. All right, the ant. What is this talking about, please? What is this talking about for Gemini? This work and achievement and success. We have the judgment card with the four of swords. Well, this is the call, right? for me the judgment I mean look at it it kind of reminds me of like the Pied Piper you know singing that song leading so there is an, an inner song that's being sung here that you're going to let lead you right for sure some of y'all could be a judge or again working like the the criminal justice system or something here okay I'm just kind of feeling that like and again with the path too that's so interesting here because she's walking down the path and then we have the money path so it does feel like you're gonna have to make a lot of judgment calls in regards to your finances but it also feels like you are being led here and you're being led through some kind of transformation too many guys what do we have here for this ant what is this talking about for Gemini like when it's time to work, it's time to work. And when it's time to rest, it's time to rest here. We have the three of pinnacles. That's my collab card, okay? 
So yeah, some of you guys are going to feel like you have to rebuild several times over, you know, the, the course of your own personal money path. Like there's going to be times where you do feel like you have to start over from scratch, start over from zero here. Uh, some of you guys need to bring something to the drawing board and you need to kind of think of how you can take a different uh, look at something or a different take on something for sure. Some of you guys are going to be led towards some kind of partnership or something where you're going to be working on a team. Maybe y'all are going to be leading a team here. Maybe y'all feel like you have to be in charge of something or something is your responsibility. Okay, I get that very strongly, but you know, with the three of pentacles, that is like the work card of tarot. I feel like there's something here where it's like the work, yeah, is going to get better. Oh, there's something here about how each one is better. Like that's just sloppy as hell. That's a little bit better. And then we have something that's damn near perfect here. So it's like over time, something is going to increase or something's going to get better. You're going to see that too. Some of you guys might find also that your happiness is not where you thought it was going to be. Some of y'all are going to start to learn or discover or remember or pull into, lean into the energy of like, Money is not what creates happiness. Money is actually what creates stress for you. Like you're, you know, like when you have copious amounts of money, yes, you do feel less stress. But there could be something here where it's like, do I really feel happy though? Is that really what brings me happiness? You know. So there could be a lot of thoughts and reflection when it comes to your money and you know, <laughs> the role it's playing in your life or how big of an influence money has had on your life for some of you guys, for sure. Page of Pentacles with the moon. There could be um, some kind of opportunity that's coming up from the subconscious that you're going to be asked to kind of lead into. So some of you guys are really going to be using a lot of your creativity here to create money in the future for sure. <clears throat> One more for this uh, ant energy here. And we have the four of pentacles. Well, we do see an increase here. Four of pentacles going to, or three of pentacles going to the four of pentacles. Yeah, there's this energy here where I feel like you guys are like reflecting on like how you, where you've held back or where you've suffered losses when it comes to money. Some of you are trying to desperately get out of this energy of, I feel like I'm just stable. I can just pay my bills. Like I want to thrive. I want to excel here. So I feel that very strongly, but there is a healing. Not a lot of people look at the three of swords like a healing card, but technically it is. It's a heart. It's a card of heartache and loss and like maybe breaking up with something, maybe having to separate from something. Some of you guys might've put a lot of energy into something in the past here with this judgment energy and you feel like you had to kind of break away from it and it did break your heart. You didn't want to have to maybe leave that situation or in that business or whatever, you know? <clears throat> but this card also for me, especially in this deck, he's sitting on a treasure. So some of you, it's time to stop sitting on something and it's time to really put this effort and energy into it. Um, you know, if you've had some ideas of like a ways to get your product out there or ways to get your business out there or ways to kind of maybe promote whatever this is that you're doing, or maybe you do want to step into leadership, but you're afraid to kind of ask for the responsibility or, you know, you kind of like being able to slack off a little bit and not have all that responsibility. It's time to stop sitting on whatever this gold mine is or this treasure is that you have because it is there. Let's get one for the wishbone since we got one for the June and July. What's this wish that Gemini has in regards to their finances, which I think is a pretty obvious question, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. Libra energy, like I want to be balanced in this bitch. Shit, okay, I want to be balanced. I want everything to work out in my favor. I don't want to have any problems. If there's any kind of legalities or anything like that, I want this to all be clean. I don't want anything to be messy when it comes to my finances. <clears throat> some of you guys you want to get what you deserve because maybe you feel like in the past you were cheated maybe you feel like you worked so damn hard you were the best and you weren't treated like that or you weren't given that energy back okay so some of you guys want that karmic retribution when it comes to your financial situation some of you guys might have been helped you know helped help 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 everybody else helped your family right helped your parents helped your kids helped your sister helped your brother you've helped everybody at some point in your life you've been there for everybody and then when you're in the struggle bus it's like there ain't nobody checking for you ain't nobody calling you okay so some of you guys you know you just want to i don't know see some of that back and maybe not necessarily from these people but from the universe like you're ready to see some kind of win some of y'all y'all want to win that's what I'm getting here with this wishbone and the justice. 
<clears throat> like I want a win. What is this? We have the page of pinnacles. Yeah, you want something to grow. You want to make progress. You want to have different forms of income or different sources coming in. You want your money to be balanced here with this two of pinnacles on the bottom of the deck. You know? So is that the that's the wish that's coming in? We have the two of cups with the page of cups. I feel like it is, guys. Yeah, look, that's three cups. That's six cups. Something that you've been working on for a while is gonna pay off, guys, or something from the past is gonna pay off, okay? You've, a past investment, something like that. There could also, again, be a very lucrative connection that's coming in here, for sure. This could lead to marriage, or this could lead to some kind of higher financial commitment here that's gonna work out in your favor. Just picking that up. Look, six of cups, okay? There you go. Ace of pentacles. So some of you guys, your future of your finances lies in the past somewhere, something that you used to do or something that you put to the side. Or again, there's something to do with the soulmate here. Maybe some of you guys really do want help and there is nothing wrong with that. I feel like there's a stigma here for like single parents or people that live, you know, just singles. Nothing gotta be single parent, just single. Single people got bills too, shit. <laughs> it's, it's expensive to be single too, just as much as it is to be married or in, or have kids or not have kids or whatever. Life is expensive, period. And there could be this energy here of like, you just want support. You want some kind of help. You want somebody to come in that can help take off some of this burden. Like we help each other out. I feel like that might be happening. That's a wish for somebody. Okay, let's see what we got here. What do we got here for Gemini? Okay, advice and additional messages. I'm going to use the Moonology deck. I haven't used this deck in a minute. This felt very compelled. We have your hard work is paying off. Nice. I mean, isn't that what we've been talking about? Look, work through your fears. I mean, isn't that what we've been talking about? Because some of you guys don't feel like your hard work is paying off. You feel like, damn, am I taking two steps back, right? Your dreams need a practical plan. That's what we've been talking about as well. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and see. I like the deck. It's already lining up. Uh, advice and additional messages for their career. Be bold and make the first move here. Look, that's so interesting, the contradicting energy here. Because we have be bold and make the first move. But then we have take time to breathe out. Right? So... Maybe this is what this is saying is you've been bold. You've made the first move. You can let something grow now, okay? For some of you guys, this is going to say be bold and make the first move and then breathe so you don't pass out. That's for some of you. Because there, there could be something big here or like a risk or like I'm going to hold my breath while I sign this contract. Like there could be something like that, okay? But don't be afraid to go after your shit, you know? For real though. What, what else do we have here for Gemini gang? For their advice and additional messages a fiery climax approaches with luck is on your side damn gemini a fiery climax approaches you know what we have role playing in bed i'm sorry guys okay because i'm just like I, i'm just listen giving the messages Role playing in bed and then a fiery climax approaches. Some of y'all are going to manifest things in the bedroom if you're already in a partnership. Um, yeah. You know, instead of just like, because you know how people will like use their big O's, okay, to manifest and to put that energy into the world. And there's like the SEX magic that people do and things like that. So this is already kind of a concept. So why not with your partner? It, it reminds me of some kind of interview. I forget who this was. I don't know if this is Joe Rogan or who this interview was by, but he was talking about how he was with his wife and they were, you know, doing their thing. And he was really nervous about a uh, presentation or a job interview or something. And so while they were doing it, this is so awkward. <laughs> While they were doing it and everything, like she was saying to him, like, oh, you're going to do great. You're going to be the best. You're going to nail this interview. You're going to get this job. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get this job. I'm going to get this job, right? Like that's, they were manifesting as they were doing it. And he ended up getting it or it went well or whatever, okay? So listen, guys, okay? <laughs> that could be for somebody, though. Like don't 
don't discount how powerful that energy actually is, that sexual energy, because it is very powerful, especially if you are with your divine counterpart, okay? I don't know how it works with a karmic, but if you are with, like, your divine your divine counterpart, there's this energy here of, yeah, y'all should talk to each other like that in the bedroom or manifest your desires in that way, you know? Why not? Okay, spirit. <laughs> Can we move on, right? You are good enough. Some of y'all don't feel like you're good enough for your abundance. And it might not be something that's on a conscious level. Like consciously, you might be like, yeah, I do want to have this and I want to have that. But maybe you don't put the energy into your own personal goals enough to actually show that, you know? So there could be a need to kind of kick it up a notch because we do see that with the be bold and make the first move with the fiery climax approaches. It's time to release negativity, Gemini. <clears throat> so make sure you're not involved in situations, people, habits, things that aren't good for you, right? Being around a bunch of broke bitches and then talking about your dreams all day long. Like that's why they're sitting there being broke, talking about their dreams all day long. Because they're not out there fucking putting in the work or doing what they need to do. So make sure you have the good influences around you that you need, okay? What's that saying? Your network is your net worth. Okay, I'm not saying that you can't have friends that aren't on the struggle bus, but it's like, you know, just be conscious of your energy here is what I'm getting. Okay, what else do we have? Let's get like one or two more. Communication is key. There is going to be some kind of communication that comes in in regards to your finances. And last but not least, we have hold your vision, Gemini. <clears throat> but don't let pride get in your way, which is interesting because this card is usually talking about not being so stubborn that you are making choices that are going to lead you down a, a, a path that you don't want to go down because you're so damn stubborn. But this is talking about holding your vision. I feel like there's also this energy here of allowing yourself to be flexible, though. Like, you have a vision for yourself. Like, say you want to be a homeowner, right? That's your vision. But how you get to it could change and it could shift and be okay with that. Don't be so rigid that there's only one way to achieve something, you know, because there's several ways, okay? All right, guys, that has been your reading, and I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.